Well, many 3D printing labs and private owners of 3D printers are making efforts to help fill shortages of medical equipment during the COVID-19 pandemic. Benta Boutier reports the Fibers and Additive Manufacturing and Able Systems Lab, known as FAMES at Indiana University, is among those trying to help meet the need for medical equipment. Alexander Guminik is an assistant professor of intelligent systems engineering who heads the FAMES lab. Guminik says he started to get requests last week from people asking if he could use the 3D printers in his lab to make different types of medical equipment. Since then, Guminik says he and his students have produced a working prototype of protective face shields, which they are sending to doctors and nurses at Eskenazi Hospital in Indianapolis. So the first thing to send them was uh, the face shield. That was the fastest to make, uh, fastest to try and approve, and now it's approved and it went to a mass production. Guminik says he and his students can print 20 face shields a day in his lab. He says they also sent a few models of nasal swabs for COVID-19 test kits to be tried out by doctors at Eskenazi Hospital. Louis Vanderhelst is one of Guminik's PhD students who's been helping design and produce prototypes of the nasal swabs. He says the models they've sent are based off of swabs already in use, but with minor adjustments made to see if they can improve existing models. I try to replicate what's currently being used, and with that we can have a good grasp of exactly what kind of devices we need to, to develop. So our swabs are, are not uh, completely new, they're, they're based on concrete designs that have been tested. Vanderhaust says he thinks approval of swab design for Eskenazi doctors is near. And once um, we get feedback from the hospital, from the uh, medical doctors, we can optimize that. And if they approve of a design, we must produce it. The time frames are very different in terms of prototyping and mass producing. We can prototype um, over a day, but mass production can take up to three days. Guminik says between the printers in his lab and a few others across campus, they'll be able to produce up to 5,000 swabs a week once the design is approved. He says usually his lab's work is much more research-based, but the skills he and his students have to use for this project make for good real-world application of their studies. The character of work has changed, but the knowledge and the uh, equipment are the same knowledge and equipment that we use for research. He says he and his students feel good that they can be uniquely useful at a time where many labs and programs and universities have been shut down. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Ben Taboutier.